Honor Guys, Barry from Copper vs Glass and today we're going to be checking out the new edit tools that are in the Google Photos app. These have been added to the app in a recent update and they're pretty cool and they bring some very needed features. To get into them, you all, all you have to do is click on the pencil on any photo to bring up the edit tools. Here we'll see a new bar across the bottom that will show you the new tools that are available. Let's take a look at what they do. First of all, you have the auto function. This is very similar to Google's auto enhance feature in Google+. You can manually add off, normal or high auto enhance to your photos. Then of course you've got the standard crop settings, freeform, original uh, aspect ratio or square. Then you've got rotate. This is what will allow you to do not just rotate left and right but also to straighten a photo as well if the horizon line isn't straight. Next along you've got styles. This is probably one of the most important features added to this app. It brings pre-built filters similar to Instagram that add quick and easy dramatic effects to your photos. These can't be edited however so if you want to get more granular control we're going to have to look at what we can do next to edit these photos and make them slightly more dramatic. What I'm going to do first though is revert this photo back to its original state so we can start from scratch. We're going to click on Tune Image and here we're going to see a slightly new interface for editing the photos. When you're on Tune the Image, you can slide up and down to scroll through the types of adjustments you can make. Brightness, contrast, saturation, shadows and warmth. Once you've selected from the up and down menu, you then slide left to right to actually edit the effect. This can be, as you can see, quite difficult and sometimes you'll be moving up and down when you should be moving left and right. But once you get the hang of it, it's actually a really intuitive system and you'll see this menu option style be used throughout the rest of the application. Next we've got Selective. This is a pretty cool feature as it allows you to put a dot or a placement marker in each part of the photo that you wish and edit just that part of it. So you can see here I've placed a dot on the concrete and I can change just the concrete saturation, brightness, colour and so on. Next along we've got Details. This is very simple structure and sharpening, two very similar tools um, that allow you to change your sharpness and the structure composition of the photo by enhancing the contrast. Then we've got some effects down here starting with Vintage. In the Vintage setting we've got a blur which simply adds a vignette blur around the edge of the photo. Then we've got Styles. Choosing the style will change the colour temperature and the gradient that it puts on the photo. As you can see here you have purples, blues, pinks and so on. And again we have the same vertical and horizontal interface for actually adjusting the effect itself. So we can change the strength of the effect. We can also change the vignetting effect as well, which is the blackness around the outside, and so on. If we tap on the top icon, we can see the old versus the new photo. There are quite a lot of styles in here, which make for a very versatile set of editing tools, and you can get quite creative and quite extreme if you wish. Picking out some more of my favorites, we have HDR Scene, previously only available in Picasso photo editing, now brought to the mobile application. We have different types of HDR editing, nature, people, fine and strong. Strong will give you very vibrant images to pull out those really colourful HDR images you see on the internet, but I like to keep it more subtle. Then of course you can add frames to the photo. Not only can you add the frames, but you can actually change how they look. For instance, you can adjust how thick or thin the frame is, so you can adjust it to your liking. Once we're done, we can click on the tick and save all of our effects and we can click done. This will then save the photo to our camera roll as an edited version. The thing to remember is that it saves an edited version alongside the original, so you will have duplicate photos if you keep doing this a lot. That's pretty much it guys for the new photo editing tools for the Google Photos app and I'll check you guys in the next video.